Hello there people. Today I'm going to be showing you the features of our HRM in an elaborate manner so that it's easier for you to understand what the features exactly do and what their purpose is. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. So first of all, we have the dashboard of our HRM system. So uh, in the dashboard, uh, you can see the overview of the entire backend system where you are able to view statistics such as the total number of employees, uh, total number of clients, total expenses, total deposits, projects, and etc. And upon scrolling down, you will be able to view a more analytical representation of topics such as revenue, payroll, attendance, meetings, and you know, in the form of group chart, uh, graph charts, pie charts, and tables. And uh, moving on, here is the uh, subscription panel where you will be able to see the package that you, you are subscribed to. And uh, as you can see currently uh, in this subdomain, it's subscribed to the basic plan. And you can, of course, upgrade your plan whenever you desire by clicking here, the upgrade plan panel, where, you know, you can, if you if you have a basic plan, you can go to a standard, standard one or premium one, uh, you know, whatever your enterprise or organization requires. So moving on, let's go to the HR panel where we have these three uh, features or options such as designations, departments, and roles. So let's start off with designations. So in the designations uh, section, uh, you can create new designations for your company as well as manage and edit relevant information such as the de designation title and status. And uh, moving on, there's departments where you can create new departments similarly uh, similarly and similar to designations. You can create new departments for your company as well as manage and edit relevant information such as the department title and status. And then of course, if we uh, go to roles, you can once again create and edit and manage all the available roles in your company. Uh, additionally, you can set permissions for specific roles such as the ability to log in uh, via web or app and also if you click on edit you can you know uh, edit the permissions for each of the uh, designations so moving on uh, let's go to employees uh, in the employee section uh, uh, it basically lets the admin view all the employees of the company and you can also create furthermore uh, you can view employee profiles Specifically, uh, it did edit uh, employee information, set, uh, set the roles as well as permissions accordingly. Additionally, the password reset mail feature generates a new eight digit password for employees to log in. You, yeah, and you will find this option here, the password reset mail. So uh, if like if in case you, you don't want to generate a password for employees, you can do it uh, this way. A new eight digit password so moving on let's uh, go to leaves and here we have uh, leave type assign leave leave request daily leave leave balance so let's uh, start off with leave type uh, in the uh, leave type channel uh, the admin can create viable leave types for employees examples include sick leaves casual leaves emergency leaves uh, paid leaves and etc and you can create more uh, if there is a need, need for it. And uh, in the assign leave, admin is also capable of setting the number of days an employee can take off uh, for a specific category of leave. For instance, employees can take a maximum of 12 casual leaves, 14 sick leaves, and so on. In the leave request, you can view the number of leave requests that have been submitted by employees and manage them by either approving or rejecting them. In the daily leave, uh, the daily leave portal lets the admin view the early leave requests submitted by employees. And in the leave balance list, uh, you can view, uh, you know, uh, let's say a specific employee's, uh, you know, the leaves that have been allowed for that specific employee, the leaves that have been granted, and the number of leaves they have left. So you can check all that here. And then uh, if we go to conference, Yeah, so in the conference, uh, admin can view the conference list, create new conferences, as well as manage and edit existing conference uh, as per their convenience. 
in the accounts list, uh, this section basically lets the admin view, manage, and ed edit all of the existing accounts as well as its name, balance, account number, branch, and status. In the deposit section, the admin can, of course, once again ed uh, edit and manage all sorts of uh, all sorts of uh, company de uh, deposits, uh, along with account name, category, amount, date, method of payment, and reference. In the expense section, uh, this expense uh, list consists of uh, all the expenses, expenses which are related to the company. Uh, the admin can view and edit these expenses according to their need. Examples of such expenses may include employee salary, uh, utilities, rent, insurance, capital expenditure, office supplies, and more. Under transaction history, uh, the, uh, the admin can view all the transactions made by the company through the help of this channel. And uh, last but not least, uh, under account settings, uh, you will uh, you will notice that there's uh, three features, three options under account settings: deposit category, expense category, and payment method. So if you go to deposit category, uh, the admin can basically create deposit categories such as current accounts, saving savings accounts, and more. And under expense category, admin can create expense categories such as salary, utilities, rent, insurance. Basically, you can create more categories. And same goes for payment method. Uh, moving on. Let's go to awards. So in the awards section, uh, it basically consists of the list of employees who have excelled at work. Uh, you can add the employees that you know you want to uh, highlight or you know have done well uh, at the office or whatever. You can add those employees here. The admin can create award types as well as uh, add the deserving employees to the list. And then moving on, we go to travels. And of course, in travels, you can add travel type. In the type section, you can create travel types by setting the name and st uh, status for it. For example, travel is vacation, business travel, and more. Furthermore, you can also view the viable travel uh, travel types under travel list. Uh, the viable travel uh, viable travel types will show here, and you can see them. Moving on, let's go to performance. And basically, in the performance section, you can uh, you can see under there it, there is four more sections, uh, which are indicator, appraisal, goal, and settings. So. Uh, but to summarize it, the performance section, the admin is able to ask, uh, assess employees by rating them based on the employee's work performance. The admin can create indicators which can later help them to evaluate an employee's impact on the co company. Furthermore, the admin is also capable of setting goals or objectives that the company is working towards. Lastly, the admin can create viable competence and goal types, as well as view the lists of the competencies and goal, goals set. Moving on, uh, we go to meeting. And in the meeting section, you can basically list down the meetings that uh, you have uh, to do. You know, with, maybe with your clients, if you have any sort of meetings, you can list them down here and keep a note. And then, yeah, that's about it for the meeting. And we can also go to appointments, which is similar. If you have any sort of appointments, you can list them down here uh, as, a, as a reminder. And then also visits, same thing. You can list it down here if you have to visit, if you have to make a company visit to any other places, you can list them down here. And it's really convenient. You can see it all from here. And then moving on, let's go to support. And under support, we can see that there's tickets. And in the support section, the admin is able to view the support tickets that have been opened by the employees. And in that way, you can you know, resolve employee issues, whatever issues they're facing uh, through the help of the tickets that have been opened by the employees. And moving on to announcement. Uh, in the announcement section, all the important notices can be updated and sent to employees of the company uh, in order to keep them notified at all times. And you can see them under this uh, notice section. Moving on, we go to contacts, and of course, in contacts, uh, 
admin can view the contact information of all the employees uh, from this page, uh, which is, of course, very uh, mandatory. Moving on, we go to report. And under report, you will see that there's a bunch of options such as live tracking, location timeline, attendance report, break report, leave report, payment report, and visit reports. So let's start off with uh, let's start off with live tracking. So for live tracking, basically what this uh, allows you to see is the live location. So from here you can set the live location of your office. And uh, through this, uh, your employees can make attendance uh, when they're, you know, within the office vicinity. And this allows them to, you know, check in in a more efficient way. So whenever they're near your location, near the office location, they can uh, make attendance through the mobile app. So here's where you do the uh, settings uh, from the back end. And then we have attendance report. In attendance report, the admin can view the attendance report of all the employees through the help of this portal. And then we have break report. Uh, similarly, if any employee takes a break from work, then this report will be updated on this portal for the admins to see. And then we have payment report, uh, where admin is able to see all the payment reports of the company. Uh, where the admin is able to see all the payment reports of the company from here, as well as search and filter payment reports for utmost convenience. The leave report, of course, shows the, you know, leaves taken by the employees. It shows a detailed report, which you know, helps, helps you understand who, have, who has taken leaves. And, of course, lastly, visit reports. In this section, the admin will be able to see the visit reports of all employees. If they've made any visits, it's going to show you. So moving on, let's go to configurations. And under configurations, there's a bunch of options such as a weekend setup, holiday setup, shift setup, duty schedule, IP whitelist, locations, and activation. Now, this is a very important part of the HRM because uh, let's start off with configurations first. So, in the configurations section, the admin can change various factors such as, you know, a date time settings. So you can, uh, you know, uh, select the time zone that your HRM is going to, uh, you know, reflect. As, as you can see here, it's reflecting the time zone according to the uh, location selected. And then you can also set the date format. You can set the language. Also the attendance methods, how the uh, employees will be making attendance. They can make attendance by, uh, you know, we have a bunch of add-ons. They can make attendance via face recognition, QR code, selfie. There's a lot of options. And then you can set the max working hours. You can you can make a bunch of adjustments here. And following up with weekend setup, in the weekend list, of course, you can uh, choose which days uh, are off uh, for the employees and, of course, uh, vice versa. And then we go to holiday setup, which is similar. And then we go to shift setup. In shift setup, you can basically... Uh, set shift so maybe you have night shift uh, employees working in the night shift you have employees working in the evening shift morning shift so this, this is where you you know make the adjustments <coughs> and then we come to duty duty schedule so once again you can uh, set the duty schedule so when the, the starting time of a specific shift so let's say night shift starts at 11 p.m. and p.m. and ends at 7 a.m. you can make all these adjustments you can make the uh, adjustments to consider uh, consider time. You can, uh, you know, uh, edit the status and all that. And then we come to IP whitelist. So IP whitelist. So IP whitelist is basically where the admin can set a specific IP through which the employees will be able to give attendance. So let's see. We have uh, this. Uh, uh, add-on which is an IP based attendance add-on so this is where you uh, you know uh, select the IP add the IP through which the employees can make the IP attendance based uh, IP based attendance uh, moving on there's locations and admin can set a specific area within which the employees will be able to give attendance so there's there's going to be a radius within which uh, once the employee enters within that radius they will be able to uh, check in and then we have 
activation. So the activation section allows the admin to change the time format, uh, enable and disable location binding, uh, IP address based binding, multiple check-in and multiple checkout, live tracking and leave assign. And yeah, you can you can also you know uh, assign leaves uh, based on user wise or department wise wise. So if you want to uh, assign leave for a specific employee, you go for user wise. If you want to assign leave for a whole department, you can go with a department wise leave assigned. So you can make all these adjustments from here. Lastly, we come to settings and uh, basically the general settings. Uh, you know, in quite literal terms, uh, the admin can adjust the general settings of the company, such as the company name, background, light logo, dark logo, company icon, email settings, storage settings, database backup settings, uh, everything can be done from the general settings section. And then the app settings, uh, basically the admin can change the app menu icon from here. So whatever changes you make here is going to be reflected in the mobile app for the icons and then we come to currency of course which is quite self-explanatory you can see the currency list over here you can add currencies and it will show you same with language you can add the language and uh, you know whatever language you uh, add here you can change uh, to that language so that the hrm system can reflect uh, that language So yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys understood. And if you guys have any queries or concerns, you can, of course, uh, reach out to us and we will assist you accordingly. Thank you so much.